Yes! More! Give me more! <laughs> oh, this is so amazing! <laughs> A 7-7! Seven, seven. This is what happens if you have a nice opening hand. Oh, we have also our protection. Jesus! Oh, Jesus. How much? Next. Yes! 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 <laughs> Amazing! Now is it going, everybody? I hope you enjoyed this intro. This is a Frog Synergy Tribe deck, let's say. And this is such a funny deck uh, that I played it in the play queue. I even tried it in best of three, but in best of three I had no chance against easy, so I stopped it. But also in the rain queue I played some and I won some. Uh, this is why I thought, hey, this deck is finally finished, because around this frog I wanted to build already for ages, but I never had it. I never uh, had the wild cards for it, because it's just a Mimi card, right? We are here in Simic Coloration, and this is basically... What we are trying to do, we are trying to bring out our 4 mana 3-3 three, three legendary frog, the Grolnok, the Omnivar. And what, what he does is, whenever a frog you control attacks, mill 3 cards. So we mill from our own library. And whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard uh, from your library, exile it with a croak counter on it. We, we put it first from the graveyard or from the library to the graveyard, from graveyard to the exile. This is a very important interaction, why I'm gonna tell you in, in shortly. And then you may play lands and cast spells among cards you own in exile that are with the croak counters, right? So we have a huge mana or card advantage with it if the Gronolock stays on the board. Why is it important that the cards go especially from the battle, from the library to the graveyard, from graveyard to the exile? Is because we have Willow Geist, a one mana, one mana with trample that says whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, put a 1-1 counter on Willow Geist. When Willow Geist dies, you gain life equal to its power. This is not so relevant, but that we put counter each time the card leaves the graveyard is amazing because you saw it in the intro, it can go really, really fast, really, really out of hand because he also has trample. So you can attack against all these small creatures that try to block it and he can be easily like, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, 12 power. Uh, this is really, really cool. The rest is here to support this frog tribe because we use, instead of frogs, and there is not a lot of frogs currently in the standard, maybe they will get some support, we use shapeshifters because shapeshifters are also frogs. So we have here four of Masked Vandal and four of Guardian Gal Glade Walker. Both are, let's say, um, Masked Vandal is maybe a little bit better to deal with Chariot, to deal with other enchantments or artifacts, um, and uh, the Guardian is basically there just because he's a shapeshifter. Uh, just to enable this curve, because we can have this amazing curve Gvilo guys into one of our shapeshifter, into for example beers that also create a shapeshifter, or in our croaking counterpart is a 3 mana sorcery that we can copy any creature, so from opponent or from us. But the downside is it's become a 1-1 one, one, uh, uh, frog. The important interaction is here, when we copy it, it also has the ETB ability, so if so, you copy something that is like Skycliff Apparition, you can also exile with it. If you copy an Elita Spellbinder, you can uh, have this um, this trigger where you look an opponent's hand and exile something to make it cost more. So all these Enter the Battlefield abilities are here available too. This is maybe something cool. The same is true for Glasspool Mimic. Then we have another cool card, this Slogwork, the Overslime, a 3 mana legendary Ooze, and he has also huge synergy with our Frog because whenever we put a land into the graveyard, we put a 1-1 counter on him. We can remove also 3-1-1 counters and take the smoke back to our hand, and whenever we do it, or whenever he leaves the battlefield, we can take up to 3 lands out from our graveyard to our hand. So maybe it can come sometimes that we can get a little bit mana screwed, but then we can take it out if he dies, for example, right? And uh, then we have Jessica, because <laughs> she is so fun, to play if you have, for example, croaking counterpart, it creates a token and Jessica can copy tokens. So you can constantly make copies of this token <laughs> that also has the ATB ability and everything. So it's just pure fun. It's really, really cool deck. I like it really much. Is it competitive? No, it's definitely not competitive. But is it fun? Yes, it is so much fun. Not only for people who like tri tribal decks, but people who like a lot of triggers like Utori Dice, for example, or just people who want to experiment a little bit with uh, shapeshifters. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. Of course, for removal, we have our Beers of Literation, is some sort of removal, and three of our Blizzard Rolls, just to deal with some aggression, and sometimes something needs to die, for example, Mono White, if they have played Bulletul Qatar 
on our Grolnok. Uh, we don't want to say GG and leave the game. We can draw our Blizzard Brawl and then get our Grolnok back. And as soon as he hits the battlefield again, again we can play all the cards that have been exiled with the Crow Counter. For the mana base, we're running 22 lands, but we have also two of Mimic, so 24. Sideboard, as I said, I tried to go best of three, but uh, it's nothing you would enjoy. Uh, I tried to put some stuff in it, uh, but then um, uh, first I decided not to play best of three anymore. Uh, so yeah, um, this is so far for the deck, guys. Uh, let's jump in. If we don't see some synergies, we will talk about it in a breakdown. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. If you like my decks, don't forget to support my channel, subscribe, click this like button so everybody knows you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and let's roll it. Dark Staff. 86. Bro, you are just one year older than I am. Not bad, not bad. I go first and this is a nice hand. This is okay, this is okay, my friends. This is okay. This is actually okay, Dark Staff. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we are playing against. Then let's open up with Sprout. He can maybe smooth out some things. Okay, a land. Land is not smoothing, but okay. Boom. Boom. Boom here, because I want to keep him alive. Most likely opponent has like Grasp or something like this. So he targets Sprout. Another land. Okay, another Froggify. Well, let's go. Next turn we have the Froggy. Froggy, Froggy, Froggy. Froggy, Froggy, Froggy. Okay. What do you want to do? Exile my graveyard? Huh. You do? No, but I have nothing in my graveyard. That's okay. Another Shapeshifter. Uh, froggy, Froggy, Froggy. Atakuitse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. One, two. No lands. That's interesting. You can block with this one man. Why not? Oh, uh, interesting. My opponent thought that it's not necessary to block it. Chum, chum, chum. And. Okay, meat hook or what? I think meat hook, right? Meat hook. For two. Meat hook for two is okay. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Oh, meat hook. I have another froggy, so that's okay. And the uh, fact that opponent attacked to bring my uh, croak down shows me that he maybe don't have his fifth land. Well, that's okay. This is nice. And before... Ay, 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 ay. Before... I'm gonna play uh, the Froggy, then the second one. I want to bring Jessica because then we can play Beers, copy also the the the, um, the token from the Beers, Merchant, okay. And the token from the Beers is also a Shapeshifter. This is why we have then a little bit more triggers, right? Something I like Willow guys will be. Cool now. Okay, Masked Vandal. I can deal with you. It's actually okay-ish. But let's first stay with the plan. The plan is the plan. The plan is the plan. It's as simple as it is. Simple as it is, plan is the plan. Then we're gonna crew you with the token and you. Yeah, si sí, senor. Then we're gonna attack with all. And create a copy of this token. And as far as I understood, <laughs> this token can also be created. So what do we copy then? <gasps> what if I... Ah, no, but it's still legendary. Fuck. Because there is also in Simic a spell that makes it non-legendary. Oh, opponent has some removal, I think. Or some sweepers. This is why he won't sacrifice the merchant. Maybe Blood on the Snow if he has another land. Blood on the Snow is a possibility. No deadly dispute. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Let's go. So now we have two shapeshifters. Question is, do I want to bring the Gronk out to draw more cards? I think he has blood on the snow. There is five cards. There is no chance he doesn't have a blood on the snow with this, right? 
Definitely. Definitely blood in the snow. So let's see. And I think shapeshift. Stop it, bro. I think shapeshifters don't get enough like cards to really being like crazy good, right? I twitch it. Okay. Ah, this land is a little bit, a little bit too slow. Ah, how can we do that? Mm, I can play you tapped. If I play you, you do nothing for the next turn, right? So I can play you. And next turn he will be a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, a 4-4, four, four, I mean. He will kill things. And let's, let's take you out. So opponent don't drain me and don't gain life back. This is okay. Soaring, okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, okay, you want to play it? Okay, interesting. Definitely a cool game. I like it. So we gonna kill one of you. Why? He's a shapeshifter. He's definitely a shapeshifter. And it says... Each creature with power... Ah, with power 4, great. Um, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Um, so what do we do here? What is the smartest play? To play you. Then crew. Then attack. And Sorin. You will definitely block here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting game. Definitely interesting. But he still runs uh, blood on the snow. This is why it's maybe less less cool. <laughs> not so cool, bro. That's not so cool to have your blood on the snow and stuff. And... Let's see, maybe he plays something cool, something big, so I can copy it with the crocky. Uh, he also don't create the thing. Okay, here is a blood on the snow. At least something. We have some lands. We have some lands. Do we? Oh yeah, we do. He wanna exile my graveyard, but I still take my lands back. So, then let me see what we draw next. Hey, it's not funny. Um, we can play you. Bloop, we can play you. Bloop, we can take you and you. Bloop, then we can attack on the sorting boy. Create a token of you. Obviously block it. Si, senor. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we are in the game, boys. Maybe we are. Another blood in the snow? Most likely. How easy he played this one, I think he has another one. So maybe not so much spot removal, but a lot of sweepers, huh? Dark staff. Show me what you got. It's definitely Rakdos Treasures with some super friends. Maybe also Lolth. Lolth! So you're gonna create one or not? Five lands. Ah, he don't draw another land. Ah, this is how you are, huh? This is how you are, my friend. Okay, okay, okay. Now he can play it. Blood on the snow. He sees all my cards, by the way. Blood. Oh! That is nice! Whenever I cast my second spell, I get two damage. This is cool. And he's gonna destroy the chariot. Okay. Thanks. 
Thank, thank you, my friend. Thank you. One, two. So before we gonna play anything, one, two goes here. It's exactly seven, and one, two goes here. Then we gonna mili, 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 mili. I hope I don't deck myself. <laughs> ah, this is this is fun, huh? This is fun. Oh, oh, oh! Say bye bye to your second spell thingy. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, another chariot, bro. I need another chariot. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, blood and the snow incoming. Um, let's play you as a green source. Then we play you and destroy you. Oh, I don't know. Ah, he exiled my graveyard. <coughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, then what do we do? How much cards? 29. I mean, I can go for a kill. Willow guys will definitely destroy him next turn. Um, but I go for you. Yeah, curse, give me, give me, give me this damage. And I go for you. Oh, give me this, give me this. And this is all. This is all. Blood on the snow. Bam! In your face. No? <gasps> Guys, we have a chance. Guys, we have a chance! Okay? Okay? Bro, don't do it. Before mana. Jesus, now I hate myself that I didn't play Geist. Predator, okay. <gasps> Jesus. Okay, I'll land from the top. <laughs> Get a little bit bigger. I get a little bit bigger. Another land. Jesus, how much land, huh? Sack it. Sack it. Suck it. That's okay. Doesn't matter really, right? So it, this way he's tapped. That's okay. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Bloop. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some amazing triggers happening. Not only this. Those are not only triggers. But this one, look at this. And if he doesn't have blood on the snow, guys, it is, it is, this is murderer. We don't still have done, uh, done a creature. Murderer. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Look at this, Willow Geist. <laughs> look at this, Willow Geist. Look at this, Willow Geist. <laughs> ah, Lilo Geist. Yes. <laughs> yes. More. Give me more. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> seven, seven. This is what happens if you have a nice opening hand. Oh, we have also our protection. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. How much? Next. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Amazing! Ooh. This is a game, huh? This is a game. Froggy, froggy, stylus, froggy, stylus, froggy. Froggy! Yes, we have the froggy here, we have some shapeshifters. This could be a lot of fun, my friends. This could be a lot of fun against Mono White Exile. Not so much, but hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Show me your portable whore. Show it to me, show it to me, show it to me. Circle of Confidence! Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. And let's go with you, and let's go with you. Put another counter here. Bam! Boom! Caramba! And oh, you are actually Boros. Okay, interesting. Sure, let's exchange. Let's exchange, my friend. Oh, cool combo, bro. Cool combo. Cool combo. I like it. I like it. But the purpose of it was only play you for green. 
The purpose of it was only to play you, to exile you. Yes. Jopa! How do you like? Oh, oh, me gusta? See? That's good, my friend. That's good. Wait until I draw Geist. Wait until I draw Geist. I'm gonna be caramba. Oh, that's nice. Uh, do I care? Three damage there, three damage here. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. Let's block him. Don't want to take so much damage. And the opponent Mr. Landrop? Yeah, opponent Mr. Landrop. So then we play you. And we play... You. Si, si senor, si senor. And we're gonna stay back. Let's see how my opponent wants to attack. Oh, he has a land drop, but it's tapped. Jesus. Um, sure, let's take it. Let's take it for this turn, and then after we will see how, what, and where we can do. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. You have another exile. Oh, nice! This is nice! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is great. This is great. This is... I, I didn't expect them to play something like this. Because um, on this Fury, who doesn't know, it's a double-sided land uh, instant. And you can sacrifice a creature and deal damage to any target in in uh, amount of the power of the creature. So this is actually a really, really cool cool, cool thing. I, I didn't expect it. Uh, to be honest, I didn't expect it, but it's really nice. I love it. Uh, let's check the next one out. Another one against Stranger. A Stranger. Oh, I go first, and this is actually a good hand. This is a really good hand. So let's... Let's do it like this, and like this, because we have two of them. If it's mono white, they will most likely exile it instantly with portable whore. Otherwise, Xanatar! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go with you. Let's go. Atakuitsu! Atakuitsu! We have another willow. We have another willow. Bone toe, you're a cleric deck, huh? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, what are we doing here? Slark! Nadamas! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, do we have lands here? No. Okay. Slark is okay. Voice of the Blast! Wow! Bro, I respect it. I respect it definitely. Ah! One more land! One more land! Game! Hmm. <laughs> I can copy... I can copy Cleric. Right? Then the Cleric will grow as soon as I play Shapeshifters. I don't have Shapeshifters right now. So let's... Do it, right? Blah, 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 blah. Or Voice of the Blast. Now, Voice of the Blast doesn't do me anything. I don't have so much life gain synergy. So let's copy you. Let's attack with you. No. Yes. If I, he blo double blocks it, I'm fine because I will get my land back for the for the froggy. Orfer! Ah, you will be also a nice target to copy. Another land. Five. Ah, he needs a snow permanent. Another snow permanent, por favor. Por favor. Okay, we're gonna stay back. Or do we? Ah, Jesus. Should I kill the Orpha? Because if I kill the Orpha now... Um, then he cannot get nothing back, right? So let's do it. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. He gained some life, of course. Gained a lot of triggers. 
But hey, c'est la vie, non? C'est la vie. Another one. Oh, Jesus. This is nice. This is nice. Another one. DJ. DJ can't tell me that. Okay. Fuck, this is a lot of damage. Land, please. Land, please. Seriously? Like, like, seriously? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Meal two lands? They're missing one land. Next. Uh, no attacks. Ay, 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 ay. This is an interesting game too. What the hell? This is a good game here. Good games. Good games. Okay, okay. Come in, come in, come in, come in, my friend. And another one. Okay. Tree or aura from top. This is not bad, huh? No, no, no. Pass. My turn. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Yes! Landy boy! Landy boy! Attakuitsa! Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! Uno. Dos. It. Stress! Sugar. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Why do you want to kill it? Sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking trade. I, I'm, I'm taking trade 24 7. Give me the lands back. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, senor. See, you can bring it back, but I still grow it. Oh, oh, wait, it, oh, it, oh, it, oh, it, oh, it's okay. I had my land drop at this turn. Oh, nice. Actually, nice. Huh? Actually, nice. Oh, this is much nicer here. Okay, next turn I'm dead. Tungis, 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 tungis. From my graveyard or from his graveyard? The thing is, my graveyard will uh, grow my, my... How much life? 30 life! The fuck? The fuck? Cheese! Diavla fita, huh? Um... Doesn't really matter, to be honest. I mean, to exile his graveyard will be much more powerful. But uh, let's let's try. Uh, you? Jesus! No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, fuck! Now when I need the blizzard, bro, huh? Now when I need the blizzard bro, how can I do it? Can I survive it somehow? I can't, right? I can. Okay, let's go. One. Two. No. But he is not even gonna grow or something. Because I don't have shapeshifters. One. Sure. Let's attack like this. Jup, 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 jup. One. Two. Three. Ah, fuck. Okay, interesting. Why? You can block it totally differently. He don't want to... Me to <sighs> four damage in the air. Okay, let's see if the froggy can carry me. Carry me, froggy. 
Ah, caramba. Jesus, huh? This is, this is power of clerics. Ah, no, these land drops, the, the two dro lands that I milled, I think this, they, they destroyed me. They just destroyed me. They just destroyed me like nothing. Fuck, I could have it in my hand. I could I could have won if if I had my land drops on the curve. Scheiße. Scheiße. Uh, my graveyard doesn't really matter what. Ah! Um. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Ah, good game, my good game. Um, yeah, I wanna maybe show you how how the interaction is between Cherry and uh, Croc Counter because I didn't I didn't saw this interaction myself. But hey, you cannot have everything, right? Put it here. Next, next, nothing. Next. Kill me, baby, one more time. I didn't have anything. Ah, I'm empty-handed. But it, it was interesting. It was cool. Lords of Clerics, definitely, definitely. Really cool. I mean, to draw four, he had... Don't forget, right? Let me let me show it shortly. He had four of aura. Four of... Uh, it here, the fourth. In, in, in his first, what, like, six draws? This is this is power. Carl Lennon, Carl Lennon, Carl Lennon. Cool name, bro. Weird flex, but cool. And we are going second. We have a two drop. We have a three drop. We have four drops. So sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we are also on the draw. Maybe we draw the guys. Then it will be. Ah, you know what will happen. Also, if the opponent don't play Easy, for example. Oh, Easy Meal. Easy Meal. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, two of them. I had all three of them on top of my library. All three of them. I'm repeating. Of course you. Or should I give the counter to the crap? <laughs> we have a three four crap or oh, one one four crap. <laughs> si senor, you wanna kill it? Usually, is it run a lot of kill killy killy stuff? Let's see, let's see. Next turn, beers, beers into the beers. Ah, mill it. Oh, I can also mill you if you want. The meal deck is definitely interesting because I can meal myself really, really fast with the the, the Gron Lock. Opponent is learning for a land. Okay, okay. Then let's go with you. Boom, boom. The fourth land. Chuppy 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 How should we approach this game? I don't even know. When we have four mana, should we play the froggy first or chariot first? <laughs> you know what I gonna do? do? I gonna meal him. I gonna meal him. Yes. Yes. I hear some instants. He has some instances. Oh, I want to meal him so bad. I want to meal him. I fuck. I want to meal him so bad. Why? Uh, I show you now. Uh, wait, I played this out on you. You on you. So my meal plan, right? I play Jessica. Memory delusion school. I play Jessica, um, attack with Jessica, create tokens of the croaking thing from crap. So I will have multiple crabs or some crabs every turn. <laughs> and then every time I play a land, they will mill them. 
this this could be fun <laughs> this could be fun but i was scared that he has maybe counter or like divide by zero or something but i should have played it if he would have divide by zero he can bounce it later on anyway uh so yeah <laughs> But it will be fun, no? I think it will be fun. Yeah, opponent is thinking. Thinking. Kill you. Play you. And now, should we play you? Sure, right? Let's play you. Oh, he has nothing on, on Insta Speed. You saw it? Bjup, 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 bjup. Crocky, 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 chup chup, chup chup, bam bam bam. No, he needs to sweep, right? Um, let's play you. Jesus game, let's play you out. Bam bam bam. So, <laughs> my opponent, I don't know the interaction between Tasha's laughter and all this meal meet with uh, uh, Gro Gronolk, especially with Tasha's laughter because she says exile it, right? So will it from the library instantly exile it or will I gain something? Oh, somebody thinks I'm important. Let's see. Okay, opponent is looking for something, definitely. Yeah. You want to play something else? You want to mill? Okay, here's Tasha. Okay. Okay, interaction, definitely interesting. <laughs> no, don't go! Don't go! Ma, I waited so long for him now. I mean, I cut it out for you the waiting time, but I waited so long for him. How much cards? I had 10 cards. I would attack with all, mill myself to zero, see if I lose the game or not, and, and, and they kill him in the same time. Oh, that's mean. Let's check another one out. So, Holman... I think this is gonna be my last game because it's already taking pretty long and the games are cool and fun but we of course uh wait a second one two we have croaky i go first sure let's keep it we of course also need to save something for the breakdown so we can discuss some synergies that we maybe didn't saw but i think the most things we saw we destroyed some stuff, we grow our guys like crazy and also our slow work are really really cool, especially if this combo comes up when you have the guys uh, with some meal effects and then you attack, it's really cool. In the play queue I had it so much more often than now, I don't know if the arena somehow figured out what I'm playing or what I'm trying to play, but this is, this is really cool. So let's see my opponent, Holman and... You're awake, but the opponent is still not here or what? Game, please. Don't waste my time. I have other things to do. What are the sleeves? Green. You are also green, okay. Third land is good. Let's play you, put a counter on it. Are you a mono green? Mono green tier list deck? To Holman? Ah, a pretty slow opponent. Oh, I'm sorry for it. Looks like mono green, yeah? Sculpture of winter. Wow. Okay. Senor, let's attack first. Let's see if opponent wants to block or something. Okay. Now maybe chariot. Because opponent, if play, he plays a land, he can uh, tap it, untap it, and then play chariot for four mana. Oh, I, I think I need to edit this game a lot. So you don't have to wait this... Nonsense and see the flowers falling down. Hello, hello, flowers. 
long as we are waiting, maybe. I can tell you. All ground troll, okay. And blizzard bro? Blizzard bro? Nope, okay. Um, Let's go here. Right, let's play Gadwick. On Slork. Make the Slork a little bit bigger and also play the Spur. Then next turn I can play him because I think he holds something. Game, please. Now let's play you and we play you. And this is it for this turn. And yeah, um, I was planning to make a live stream for this, this weekend. The problem is that I encountered because last week my cat broke her back uh, leg and we needed to operate it so she is now let's say require a lot of help because literally whenever she walks somewhere or something we need to be there because she's not allowed to jump of course she has like a gips a prothes or whatever you call it uh, on the right leg on the back right leg so we need to take care of it and okay another one another one this is actually not bad so I'm gonna play you. And this is why it, to make a live stream like this is difficult because um, whenever she needs something, I need to be there, right? So I need to go away, uh, run around. Even now for recording, uh, sometimes in the middle of the game, I need to mute everything and run after her to just help her out if she wants to eat or she wants to go to the toilet or anything. Um, and then when she comes back. So this is why it's a little bit difficult. But I think if she's okay or let's say she's healthier um how do we do that we go with both of you right or with three with all three um or maybe if my girlfriend uh is, is uh here and has some time to help out then maybe i can talk with her and maybe we can do some stream but i will definitely announce it in the video maybe on thursday or on friday depends when the video will come out I will announce if I will do a stream. It will be most likely Saturday or Sunday. Um, somewhere around 10 o'clock for me. So for European friends, it will be around 4 o'clock. And uh, let's mili mili. And uh, then we can maybe have some fun there. Just like a few hours. 2-3 hours is perfect, I think. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uno. Mm, dos. Mm, dress and another one perfect perfect this is actually really good really really good <laughs> i love it love it let's go let's go let's see if my opponent wants to make something okay 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 oh this is a lot of uh dead people here <laughs> of dead creatures. Bam, bam, bam. Do I have a land? I don't even know. No, I don't. And then we're gonna play you. Then we're gonna play you. Si, senor. Si, senor. Let's see next turn. Next turn we can definitely destroy the chariot. With a uh, masked vandal. Then from there we will see. Maybe opponent just sacrifice the land. Make the token attack. To destroy the token. This will be okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> now he needs to tap both of this. To crew it. To make a copy of the token. Token will be untapped of course. And still this will allow me. Oh. Okay okay. This will still allow me to make some cool, cool stuff. Okay, another two. Oh, this is actually nice, bro. This is nice. Ooh. What now? Crew it. Yeah. Interesting. Just one blocker left. Uh, no blockies. A copy. No, no. No, no, senor. No, no. Not today. So. 
one land, we transform it. Then we take the land. Willow guys will grow. Oh man, it's so annoying that you take so long. This game will be really cool, I think. Because we have a lot of tools. You don't have Blizzard Brawl. I do. <laughs> this is the coolest part of it. Come, vamos. Okay. Okay. So. Um, as we thought. First, let's play out the uh, land. Then let's copy the, the willow guys. Yeah? Yeah. Copy the willow guys. Then we blizzard bro. Ah, I miss a one green mana, but it's okay. Gonna blizzard bro you. Then we gonna Atakuitsu. Atakuitsu. With all. And then bloop 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 bloop. Fill it up. Fill it up. More. Give me more. Give me more. 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 <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh man. What's happening? <laughs> bloop bloop bloop. Blah, blah, blah. This is happening. So, my friend. Okay. I think you are... No, not that. Oh, one damage. It was one damage. One damage where he didn't die. Am I dead though? No. I am not dead. Right? He needs to tap you for attacking four. Four, eight. Oh, DT! <gasps> Am I dead? <gasps> Am I dead? Let me see. Let me see. Ah, was it a mistake to attack with hell? No, no, no. If I if I would um uh meal differently, Willow guys will be bigger. Ah, he has Blizzard, bro. Okay. And they are all gone. And now? <laughs> and now? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A tap land, okay. Coleman? Coleman? I think this is not enough. Right? Yes! 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 Holman, I, I would say thank you for a good game, but I, you know, you know, it, it took just ages. It would be a really cool game otherwise if he would not take ages, but maybe I can cut it somehow so you have fun watching it. So yeah, and this is so far it. Let's check out the breakdown. And here we are with our breakdown. So you saw this deck can get really fast out of hand. It's just really much fun to play. Um, except his last opponent, he took a little bit longer. But this day game could also be really, really amazing. And it was also really cool. I like definitely how it came out. And that we won at the end is uh, also definitely cool. And uh, yeah, um, so you saw the most synergy. There is also this Sprout with Willow Guys. Little synergy here, here and there. Um, what I like about this deck also that you maybe didn't saw a lot, for example, our um, Candle of Safety, a 2 mana enchantment aura with Flash. So we can play it. Flash is an ability that you can play it on the opponent's turn, almost see it as an instant, but it's a permanent. It's good because we can also mill it with our Gronk, uh, Gr Gronok, so to have extra protection, protection to play on the opponent's turn, but also to maybe protect our uh, Frog, it's the most important creature. Also, it gives plus one plus one so you can use it as a combo trick and uh, when it gets exiled the willow geist grow bigger um i thought first maybe to go with some instant or sorceries like uh, divide by zero or fading hope and stuff the problem is with them that um the grown nox synergy is only with permanent so we need permanence and this is i think a really cool addition on permanent side other things what is more interesting um what we didn't so for example glass pool mimic with uh um, Croaking counterpart is also a possibility to play 
Glass pool mimic as a copy of the token, so you have an additional frog shapeshifter thing that you copied before creature here. Yeah, I think this is all that uh, you didn't saw in the gameplays. The rest is, as I said, pure fun. It's really, really cool. For the opening hand, I would maybe recommend look that you have at least a uh, geist or something to play at the beginning or something that synergizes with our uh, shapeshifter. For example, if you have, I don't know, nothing on turn one, but you have some shapeshifters with our enchantment, the beers of uh, Lijara, she can make all our, our uh, shapeshifters to four fours, right? And if they have counters, for example, from the Guardian, they will be five fives. And then at the end, we remove something. But with some shapeshifters, maybe you have two or three uh, on turn uh, four. Yeah, on turn four, to have at least like two or three four fours, it's really good. It's really good. This is maybe something we didn't saw so much. And uh, yeah, chariot, just cool. If you don't have chariot, maybe cut it down to one. Maybe add something else like Blizzard Brawl to it. But uh, I like the chariot just as a fun factor and also because it's difficult to deal with. Yeah, this is so far it. As I said, sideboard, there is nothing, nothing that I want to especially uh, show you. There is maybe one this instant that I want to show you when we are already in the breakdown part that I also were experimenting, but at the end I didn't make the cut. And this is um, Shapeshifter, I forgot already the name, this one. Absorb Identity. Absorb Identity says, return target creature to its owner hand. You may, you may have Shapeshifters you control become copies of the creature until end of turn. So if you bounce something from the opponent or from you, you can, uh, all your, your, oh wait, all your Shapeshifters will become this creature. And this is really cool because sometimes you can bounce, for example, the from friend and seven the tree folk token and then suddenly everything from you is like a five five six six or something right and it's really really cool um or you can bounce some uh i don't know some creatures that have a attacking ability um because the enter the battlefield ability does not trigger with it uh, because you literally just turn them to this creature but if this creature have some attacking ability or some later ability for example uh lumina has pyrant i had it sometimes in the play queue when i bounce him and then I have suddenly two Luminarch Aspirant, I put counters on my creature, attack with this creature, and then they turn back to, um, to Shapeshifters, but they keep the counters, right? <laughs> so this is also really, really cool. Um, definitely interesting to experiment with, but they didn't make the cut because, again, it's an instant. It had, doesn't synergize with our frog. And, uh, yeah, this is maybe... You can also maybe try out a little bit. But, yeah, on this spot, I think this deck is more on the expensive side to compare to how much fun you will have. But it's definitely really, really fun. So if you have some of these cards, definitely feel it and try and maybe to use something else to build something similar if you like to. Or exactly the same if you have the wild cards, if you have the, the cards in general, if you want to have fun in the play queue, this is definitely a deck to go because there is a lot of triggers, a lot of things, and we can kill sometimes the opponent in one turn. Uh, really, really cool. Yeah, okay, so far for this deck, I will make tomorrow a small video and it will be some sort of let's say different series not but different format uh, i will make it really short i will make it between 8 to 12 minutes and i will include their decks that i think are really interesting to talk about or to show to you um that are some additions to it but i don't think that this deck is worth making like a whole 40 minutes video uh, to show you the gameplay because most likely you will know this deck for example best example for it and this is what i will show you tomorrow is uh, the party deck I made some small adjustments, small uh, uh, changes to it, and it's uh, played much more smoother, much more interesting, but it's just like one or two cards different to all the common party decks that you saw maybe from other content creators. Uh, but uh, it's just my take on it that I think is interesting because I never saw somebody using it, and I think the additions that I made make really much sense and are really cool. This is why I want to just... Sometimes if I create decks like this or experiment with decks like this and I think, oh, this is cool, but it's not really worth a whole video, you know? Then I will make just a small video. It will be maybe, as I said, let's say maybe six minutes, uh, maybe seven minutes. So not more than 10 to 11 minutes, I think. Uh, where I just show you the deck, maybe show you some highlights of the deck uh, or of the synergy, why I think this addition bring the deck further than it's uh, it was before, right? So this is... What you can expect from tomorrow's video and but it will not stand in a normal schedule because these videos are usually faster to do because i already have my clips for it i can just put them besides other decks that i normally build and normally bring to you so there is nothing uh, unusual yeah so far it for it guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh, 
if you stayed so long thank you very much i appreciate it and uh, yeah i hope to see you in the next one ciao